guys, so it's been a little while since my last video. In fact, it's been the longest period of time in like three years since I've uploaded a video. So I figured I'd start with, you know, what I had been doing, which is, this is a sketchbook update video, so I'm gonna go through some of the last pencil drawings that I did, and just kinda talk about things I was working on and where, uh, where I've been and what I've been working on. Um, so, Let's just get into the sketches real quick. Uh, this is Star Wars sketches because <laughs> I did these when the, um, the Last Jedi came out, which me and my daughter went and saw, and it was awesome. And, well, it was awesome for her and I to go see. I had different opinions on it, but uh, this drawing is a Jedi, like, jumping and fighting like a giant monster thing. Um, pretty fun fun sketch. Uh, I felt like I feel like it's dynamic. Um, there's cool like great movement and just I think the scale is pretty good too but still just a sketch. Um, I didn't really work on the background at all, a whole lot. This was a ray to the dark side sketch. Um, so this is what she might look like with some of my stylized kind of facial mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, still pretty simple, but I feel like it looks like her, and it's all right. I think maybe the hairline's a little bad. Maybe if I had made her bald, it would have been a little better, but uh, not so sure. I liked like things I messed up on or didn't really like so much. I had a little red in the eyes, and that didn't turn out so great. Um, and one terrible thing with all these is the sketchbook's been kind of like shifted around on my desk for a while, so there's like pencil markings and stuff smudges that don't look so hot. Next one, this one's not so great in my opinion. Uh, the, just, I don't know. I mean, he's supposed to be like shooting stuff at you. It's just not very dynamic. Um, his anatomy, the leg, just kind of off. Just doesn't, um, doesn't look right to me. So I wouldn't consider this one a very successful drawing. It's just an idea sketch, but I feel like Thumbnails beforehand on this one would have helped the scene and just everything a little bit. So, it's alright. Uh, Boba Fett capturing some dude. He's got them all tied up right here. It's alright. Uh, the the gate, his his hips or something, is is not quite right. Something's off about it. And I'm not really quite sure what. Um... It just doesn't look like he's balanced above his legs, if that makes sense. Like, he's just, and which sometimes that's a really hard thing to, to capture. Uh, I feel like his weight, where his foot's weight is, is too far to the left, and his body weight isn't necessarily above it. So it looks kind of like he might tip over, so I don't like that aspect of it. Um, but maybe if I were to do, like, another version of this, it could be a pretty cool drawing. In fact, maybe this... I might put this one aside for future use. That would be a good good one to uh, attempt again. Uh, this is a really fun one. I love this one. So much going on, so much action. Um, I mean, he's shoving his lightsaber through the back of this guy's head and it's coming out of his mouth. Uh, I mean, it's just a crazy scene, so it already like gets your attention. So his other hand, I just love how it's kind of like, it's it's got a great angle like it moves you through the drawing and so this hand lends itself to like he's like crushing that guy's head so he's using the force to like squish his head um, and yeah just to, I like his his the way he looks too uh, he looks pretty evil and just I don't know he looks like he's enjoying shoving that lightsaber through the guy's head but these are all pretty rough sketches like I didn't do any finish work really on these I just tried to get like a scene the, the the walkers in the background are pretty rough but I feel like this one's a good example of what I would have liked all of them to kind of be uh, tell a story be dynamic have a good composition and just not worry so much about crazy details or something uh, this is a really rough one, kind of a fight scene. Uh, he's fighting different guys. This guy's supposed to be flying off into the distance and stuff like that. I feel like this could be a, a, another good one to reattempt. So this is just a good sketch for a future, a future drawing, future painting. 
Uh, this is kind of a weird drawing, and this one's really smudged up. And this is a really fun paper, which I was using for a while there when I was doing watercolors, and I really like the watercolors, but um, it's really thick. Like it's it's not it's their uh, mixed media paper Strathmore mixed media paper, so it's it's a lot thicker than these previous sketch things, and it, it works really good with watercolor and stuff. But this is kind of just a weird little character that I made, um, and this drawing is totally screwed up from rubbing on some of the other drawings. So, but you know I don't really care too much about these. I just toss them on a bookshelf with all the other sketchbooks. Um, this is a couple of robots dancing. This is definitely a lot more finished than the previous sketches. Uh, I felt like this one's got a lot of um, cool stuff going on. Textures, the, the hair uh, is a nice contrast to how smooth the metal is. Um, it's very dynamic. The forms are great. I feel like they're, uh, they're not too stiff. Um, it looks like like a beautiful dancing pose, except for it's a couple of robots. I did thick outlines on some of it, which, like I did pretty thick lines on the front part of her helmet, and I wish I hadn't. I like to choose where those thick lines go, like as far as where the intensity of the light is, and it's still an outline, it's not a shadow, but if I determine that light is coming from above. I like to keep this line, even though there's still an outline there, but keep it a little bit lighter. Um, so I would have done that a little differently on the front part of her head. But other than that, uh, pretty fun drawing. I liked how I didn't add any detail to this back leg. I like doing stuff like that. I feel like it makes a, when I do finished work, I try and incorporate some of that. So it just draws your eye to the detail that you want them to focus on. Uh, another Star Wars sketch. It's kind of a cool design for a helmet. Very different. This one, again, is pretty rough. But I did it on that thick paper, so it's kind of a waste, but kind of interesting characters. Uh, this is my daughter as a Jedi. She's putting her lightsaber together, and Yoda's there kind of like looking on at what she's doing. Uh, I feel like this is a pretty cool sketch and I'm letting it get ruined and I don't want this one to get ruined so I'm gonna have to go and touch this one up because I want to make sure I keep this one for my daughter because um, there's some drawings that I do set aside because you know when when she's older like in her 20s I'll definitely want a good portfolio of, of illustrations I did of her and just things I think she'll she'll enjoy when she's an adult artist that her dad did and this is one of them, but I definitely like that one. It's kind of a fantasy scene. Um, she's riding this weird like dragon thing, and I like this dragon a lot, love its face. Uh, I feel like this was a pretty successful illustration. So I just wanted to go over those and, you know, so you guys can remember what I worked on in the past, <laughs> and because I hadn't showed those. But the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video is this. This is my iPad Pro. So if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, uh, Sketchy Trav on all of those, then you've seen that I've been doing only digital work for like the last couple of months. And this is why. Uh, so I have given up this for this. And it was kind of, it's been something that I really wanted to work on for a long time and really put a lot of time into, and that is digital art. And I have a Cintiq, uh, a big old monitor, it sits right next to me over here. And I've done work on that, but I've never really gotten into it enough to really actually learn um, and uh, pick some, you know, and actually spend 10,000 hours doing it so that I can get good at it. Uh, so this, I tried this out before I think I got this yeah we got this for Christmas and it is amazing I absolutely love it I don't take my sketchbook with me anymore I take this and I use an app called procreate which is this little symbol right here so we will pop that open and it already has a sketch this was one of my earlier sketches that I did when I was working on it but I have done a lot of work on this thing since those last few sketches that I just showed you. 
So one of the very first ones that I did was this one right here. And this is a Hellboy painting. And I can actually show you a video of this because in the app you can, um, it automatically saves your drawings as videos, as time lapses. And this is another one. Actually, I was going to show you guys this one first. So this is a, a devil like guy, uh, kind of like a, a demon hunter from like World of Warcraft or something like that. And so I'll just push play and you can watch. So with this style of art, it's painting, it's not drawing. So I'm not like doing lines to do these, I'm blocking in shapes. And this was one of the earlier ones I'm, I did, so I'm really trying to figure out like how that works and how to best work. Um, and I'm gaining ground really fast. I feel like I'm really like learning things and learning the app. Um, so I, going forward for the, for the future, I, I planned on spending an entire year doing only digital work. So I hope you guys uh, are interested in this enough to stick around and see the kind of things I'm working on. So because I'll be doing these type of videos of all my most recent digital paintings and uh, you guys can see, you know, um, how I'm progressing and I'll kind of talk about different techniques and stuff like that that I'm learning. So, but I've got a ton of work like that happened pretty quick. So you guys got to see that one really just come to life. Uh, but like, the reason that I really wanted to work on digital illustration is because I feel like like with this scene, I can get so much more of a story into it in, in, in like half the time. Um, not even half the time because as far as adding colors, lights, I can really set a mood. I can change the characters if I want, if I feel like, hey, you know, that's not dynamic enough. Um, I can change it on a whim and I can really create what I want to create. And that's the things that are in my mind. And I've been a big propo pro proponent of that since I started my YouTube channel is really, you know, exploring the fun things that I think about on a daily basis and putting them down um, no longer on paper, but in the digital realm. So. Anyway, um, I think my next video I'll do a full review of the iPad Pro and Procreate and why I love it so much and why I use it so much. But I just wanted to give you guys a, an overview of where I've kind of been, what I've been working on. And um, hopefully, uh, I mean, I've, I just have to do voiceovers because I have all the videos filmed and I've done, I think I have like 10 drawings or something like that. And I think I'm going to do two, two paintings. I should call them paintings from now on, digital paintings. Uh, two paintings per video. So um, I've already got one kind of edited and that'll be, I think, my next upload. But they'll be really similar to kind of what's going on here. But like I said, I, I feel like any illustrator, um, professional illustrator, at least dabbles in digital. If not, is a full-on digital illustrator for work because it is so much faster and you can accomplish so much more with it. Uh, and I'm hoping over the next year I can really explore that and show that to you guys as well. So anyway, uh, that's the video you guys. Um, thanks for watching and if you've stuck around and you're back, you know, watching this video after my three month hiatus, thank you and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.